about this one? This is so interesting. New research is confirming what scientists have been concerned about for years, and it involves the Arctic warming at a much faster rate than the rest of the world. Yeah, not good stuff here. Recent data revealed that the annual average temperature in the region went up 4.9 degrees Fahrenheit each decade in the last 20 to 40 years. And here to help us better understand this is at the Los Alamos National Laboratory, Dr. Manvendra Dubé. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. So this is called Arctic amplification. So what is that exactly is that and what causes it? Okay, uh, you can hear me? Mm -hmm. okay, excellent. Uh, so uh, as you said in your report, uh, recent data shows that since the 1960s, when we have good records, the globe on an average has warmed by about one degree, whereas the Arctic uh, has warmed by more than three degrees. And this ratio that the Arctic has warmed much faster than the globe uh, is uh, called the Arctic amplification. You know, doctor, this is, I mean, this is shocking, I think, to most people to hear just how significantly the Arctic is warming. So I'm curious, in the next, say, 10 years, the next decade or so, what could the Arctic region actually look like with the continued warming that we're seeing? Okay, so the Arctic uh, warming is a combination of the global warming by greenhouse gases that are increasing and also some internal natural variability in the Arctic, in, in the global system. And so, uh, you know, as we see that in this decade, in this century, first decade, the amplification actually went up from three to four. And so, uh, you know, we, we know that the secular warming will keep on increasing. Uh, nature does vary, so there are oscillations, but they come in cycles and go. But uh, there will be periods uh, where both global warming from anthropogenic forcing and this natural variability will be hand in hand will amplify warming. So whereas I don't, I can't tell you what will happen in 10 years, this is a, a challenge for us to forecast, things are likely to get worse. Right. There's always that natural variability, but you don't want to see those two things kind of meet up like you mentioned. Now, a lot of people, the big question is, is this trend reversible or can it be stopped? Yeah, so I think I think uh, they are, as climate modelers and measurement people, they are tipping points. And one big concern is in the Arctic, we have sea ice that is disappearing. And the concern really is if we exceed a threshold of no um, you know, uh, sea ice, you could be exceeding tipping points. So one should be concerned. Uh, there's a lot of warming. We've already forced in the system, uh, as scientists uh, believe. And uh, so I think action to decarbonize our economy uh, and also more monitoring to make sure we are ready for uh, whatever change this comes. We have driven the system to a level where we need to measure it constantly to, uh, to not have surprises. Doctor, we have about 30 seconds left. What does this mean for sea level rise across the world? So the connection between, obviously, when uh, if Arctic melts and the glaciers melt, there will be sea level rise also. Uh, so there should be concern about that. There should also be concern about more winter storms, because as the Arctic warms, you can get breakup of the vortex and you can get winter storms that hit uh, Michigan, et cetera. So there are atmospheric concerns, weather concerns, and also uh, on a slower time scale, sea level rise concerns. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us from the Los Alamos National Laboratory. We really appreciate Appreciate your time. Thank you for uh, the time. Absolutely. Wow, just great information yeah. there. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.